Hey guys, I can't remember the history on this one, but it's a 120 Prada. It's got 266,000 Ks on the clock. It is stone cold. So look at that, 266, 300 on the dot. And we've got the diagnostic tool plugged in and we're gonna have a listen to all that smokey, mate. Heaps of blue smoke. So I reckon this is original injectors and the seats are leaking. And this is one of those big drama messy jobs that you could see lots of videos on, so stay tuned. Look at that load reading, 47. Let's have a look at the other important readings quickly before they change it up too much as it warms up. Okay, so we've got 22 on the injection volume. We've got the feedback values looking not too bad, which can happen. The main injection period up around 1,000. It is a cold engine, right? They're the, you know, the load and the injection volume and the main injection period at the bottom there. So main injection period at the bottom injection volume at the top and the load on all the older vehicles up to september 09 is the main three readings we look at of course we're taking notice of those individual feedback values one two three and four now what we're going to do now before we go anywhere give it a little rev just to have a listen and doesn't sound too bad but i saw the blue smoke on startup so i reckon this one's got blow by what I'm going to do now is take it for a little drive to warm it up, keep an eye on these values, and then once it's warm, we'll have a look at them again. Okay, another really important bit of information we haven't included in videos yet, which is why this might seem like a diagnostic injectors only type video, but we're just going to switch to the engine mounts for a moment, include it in this video. Um, can you hear how it's very vibrating and shaky? That's the engine mounts are stuffed in the 120s. Have a look, right? Have a look at this. You see how much it's really shaking around? Hasn't fully warmed up yet. We're at, you know, probably 70 degrees coolant. We're gonna get back to the diagnostic in a sec, but you watch if I go neutral. See, it goes, it's still rough. It's still got the vibration, but a lot quieter. Really bad. Now, one way you can really help diagnose, this happens when it's cold. Now the oil's cold, right? So put in neutral, we shift it into... See, it crunches when it's cold, you get that, unfortunately, when they're cold. When all the oil's cold, you get a bit of a crunch. Now watch what happens when we put in drive in low range. The whole bull bar's shaking its head, I don't know if you can see it in the video. The antenna there and feel the, I don't know if you can feel the vibration, but it's really vibrating terribly, right? Engine mounts, okay? Check this out, I just went neutral. It's like a washing machine, an old washing machine. Right? If your car's doing that 120 Prado we're talking about, you need to replace your engine mounts with genuine ones. You can pick them up from me, I'll keep them in stock. Anyway, there you go. Back to the diagnostic now. Let's just leave that neutral for a minute and try and have a look at this if we can get it where the sun's not on it, right? See the load readings coming down. The coolant temp, we should take note of that, 73, so not fully warmed up yet. Load readings amazingly coming down better to what it should than what I expected, not what it should, I should say. I should say now, I'm just gonna get the other readings get into position here even the the injection volume that's actually looking pretty good as well right look at that injection room 7.7 .7, not bad at all so don't know what's going on there feedback values still don't look too bad main injection period at the bottom there still up or up more than it should be so that's one of our main indicators i don't know if this has had injectors replaced before or not at this stage Let's warm it up the rest of the way and see what happens. While we're at it, actually, I'll just show you shifting high to low range, which is probably the best way to do it. So from low, coming out of low back into neutral into high, pretty straightforward. Now going, that's just to lock it, obviously, in uh, high range. Now going to neutral, the best way to go into low, you might get a crunch still, but you need to do it firm as possible. So kind of like that, yeah? So don't fluff around, because all that's going to happen is and it's not really going to hurt it, but the more you sort of sit there holding it, grrr, grinding the teeth, you kind of just need to be in, clean like that, if you can, yeah? But like I said, 
when the oil's cold, you're gonna get a crunch. So the other way to get around it is, you switch the engine off, like that. You select low range, then you start the engine and you're in low range. But of course, we're on the road here, we don't wanna drive with a transfer case lock, so bang, 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 straight back into high range like that while we're not moving is ideal. But this is it, a video on shifting. We'll have other videos on that. Subscribe, turn the bell on. Let's finish the diagnostic side. We've already covered two other subjects in this diagnostic video. How good's that, eh? Better hit the like button, subscribe, turn the bell on. Bada bing, I'll get back to base. We'll have a final look at the readings and have an evaluation. Okay, so back to base. You can see the most important information, what you normally know that the coolant temp it's at idle 83 degrees okay the load reading 16 which is actually quite low considering 266,000 k's so later in other videos you will probably see videos on these and we'll probably be curious about the dates because you'll probably see blow by that means the injector seats leaking when we're talking about that so the the smoke the blue smoke because the oil's dripping down on the piston overnight after running the engine the hot oil gets past those seats because they're old and degraded they've deteriorated okay it's all explained in the injector information playlist check that out save your engine okay the load reading going up around the 16 so that's to the limit of their life anyway but i would have expected more like 2025 but anyway there's a surprise now let's just slide down and have a look at those other important readings again we want to get the injection volume to the top line first if we can what am I doing wrong way? All right, let's have a look at that. Look at that, seven to eight, actually not too bad. Feedback values, not too bad. Pilot one, pilot two, normally around the 430 mark. Not too bad, but pilot two is jumping around 460. So there's a little issue there that we won't see once the new injectors are in. And the main injection period is an important one to keep an eye on. And the top number should be around 710 or so give or take more or less new injector is going to be 550 600 so look quite jumpy it's going mid 7 760 i just saw so by that reading alone is definitely out of specification so these readings don't look as bad as what they should at 266k so it'll be very interesting to see whether they're only like okay so what's this an 07 120 proto so are the injectors going to be 14 or 15 years old or are they going to be seven or eight years old because by these readings i'm going to say they've been replaced somewhere midway um, i'm not too sure i'll have to check the information with the client i'm not sure how long he's had it could be some other information in the next video so like i said subscribe turn the bell on get yourself educated gather the correct information here on our channel you've already learned about diagnostics engine mounts and also that when to how to shift the low range thing and how to diagnose those engine mounts there you go bada bing eh anyway Catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Bye-bye for now. See ya.